Now, the largest and most advanced spacecraft ever sent to another planet has landed safely on Mars. And a scientist from the Midlands is playing a major part in the success of the mission. Yes, Dr. John Bridges from the University of Leicester is leading a team of scientists working on the project named Mars Curiosity. Gareth Owen reports. Late last night, NASA Mission Control. They described it as seven minutes of terror as they waited for news from Mars. Years of hard work hung on this moment. And then, Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on the celebrations. The most advanced spacecraft ever launched to another planet was safe. Lester is playing a huge part in the mission. But why is so much being invested in Mars Curiosity? These are actual pieces of Mars. Now, they came to Earth with meteorites, and they're really teasing scientists because they contain chemicals which suggest there may have been life on Mars. That is why we are sending more of these landers to the Red Planet, and why today there is so much excitement here at the National Space Centre. Those Mars rocks were first analysed by Dr John Bridges from the University of Leicester. He's the man now responsible for leading a team of scientists on the Curiosity mission. And he celebrated today's success with a live link-up with his hometown. Exciting times. We, we landed a few hours ago. Where is it now? Well, we have landed just south of the Martian equator in a Midland-sized crater called Gale. So that crater is the size of the region? It is the size of the region. The rover will now spend two years looking for the building blocks of life on Mars. This morning's landing, when we got the successful receipt of signals and the first images, uh, all I can say is it was like a dreamlike sense of disbelief. Now we know that all the systems are working properly. It's going to transform our understanding of the red planet, but we have all sorts of evidence that billions of years ago it was a much warmer world, it was a much wetter world. And the big question is, did life ever get started on Mars? And is it still there now? The pictures and data will start coming back later this evening. Gareth Owen in Leicester for Central Tonight. It's thrilling. It is the thrilling, way he describes isn't it? it. Yeah, certainly is. <laughs> and also that crater the size of the entire region. <laughs> yes. And they're going to keep reports over the two years. That's quite yeah. a diary, isn't it, it to is. keep? It is. Anyway, we wait to hear those reports, which hopefully should be coming on this evening, they're saying. Mm. Now, August the 6th.